hi 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 hello to everyone so yeah, welcome back to my channel so uh, today in this video we'll be talking about the african cup of nation once more again because i've seen that the level of the competition have changed so i said that the, why, can, why don't just just share it to you for for my own point of view because i've seen that the level of the competition have really increased in the recent years why due to the fact that the competition have been moved from 16 teams to 24 teams and due to that the smaller team have gotten the opportunity to move also forward to work hard to participate in their first tournament so because when it was 16 you know there was a time that even the big teams were missing out so we remember Cameroon missed out from 2012 and 2013 edition so so that those and since that time in 2019 have decided to move the competition from 16 teams to 24 teams and um, since that time it was really for me it was a good idea and it was something so 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 good to appreciate for that decision from the side of the calf staff so they did a really good decision to, to move the competition from 16 to 24 teams so what has changed from that move to 16 to 24 teams from my own point of view, I can tell you that what, from the one that I've seen, the changes that have been done in that area is the level of the performance of the teams and the competition performance as well. The level of the competition have really increased from my own point of view because when you look at the first competition, the first edition was held in 2019 in Egypt and it was won by Algeria. So the first competition to be played to the first competition the first afcon to be played at uh, 24 teams was won by algeria so since that time we have seen that the level of the chain of the team have changed the level of the competition have changed so if you are new here in my channel so i'm just pleading with you to subscribe and to just press the button of the notification so you will receive all that will be published on this my channel next day. so Let's go ahead because I've noted for you four facts to show you that the competition have moved forward. The competition level has really increased. So, what are these four facts? Let me tell you from the victims first of all. Let's start with uh, with uh, with Algeria. Algeria won the competition in 2019. So, since 2019 till now, that the to the last edition that just uh, that just finish in Ivory Coast. So when you look at the competition, Algeria won in 2019. So now the two recent one, they didn't even manage to win again. So what is it? What is the cause? That is to show you that the level of the competition have changed. That to tell you that the smaller teams are working harder and the smaller one and the bigger ones are there to just for the name, just for the decoration. We are the big team in Africa. Now it's not working anymore. Because we are seeing on the pitch that the smaller team have been doing better than the bigger team. So when we look, since the victory of uh, Africa, since the victory of Algeria in, so that since the last victory of Algeria in 2019, they have managed to play six games in the Afcon without a victory. So what is, so what's happening? When we look at it, the same. Let's move ahead for the from the the next one is Ghana. Ghana has also played. Let's say, uh, yeah, Ghana has played seven matches also without a victory. Meanwhile, when you look at the Ghanaian teams, Ghana is a big name in Africa when it comes to football. Ghana is among the top three that reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup. So, and Ghana is four time champions of the African Cup of Nations. So, why is it that now they are unable to win a single game in the Africa, in the Africa? So what's happening? So when you look at it, is that's to tell you that the level of the competition have moved forward. So the level of the competition is now higher, higher, more than before. So when you look again, look at, at like Egypt. Egypt won three consecutive times, and they are the they are the most title in Africa. They are with seven titles in Africa when it comes to Africa. They are the first team in Af the first team in Africa. So when it comes to Africa, they are the biggest name. They are the biggest in the African continent when it comes to football. So they have managed to play seven matches in the Afcon also without a victory. 
even though they were true to this last, uh, they went to the second round of the last edition that has, uh, just got finished in Ivory Coast. But when you look at it, is there really a good performance? Is there really a good composition of football on the pitch from the side of Egypt? I don't think so because. When we look at uh, even when even they went through to the second to the quarterfinal, but it was a true uh, three draws. They make three draws in the line and that took them through to the second round of the Afcon. So when we look at those type of differences, when we see that it's really 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 difficult. That's to show you that the bigger teams are sleeping and the smaller ones they are working hard. And then on the pitches we are seeing the changes as well. So when you come look at there's also the fourth fact. You can look at the Gabonese team. They have missed out of the last five fifth edition of the Afcon. So they are just at home. They are not qualifying anymore. What is happening to the Gabonese team? Meanwhile, they was among the best in the Central Africa, in the Semak zone. And in the Afcon also, they were always, always present. When we look like a, a player like Pierre Omarigme Aubameyang, they, are, they have produced a lot of stars. So why now they are unable to reach there? Competition, even to the knockout of the competition, they are not reaching anymore because the level has changed. The all teams are working now. That is to tell the bigger names, the bigger countries that they call themselves big teams in Africa to work hard, to work hard, to work hard to get to the level of the competition where we are now. We are not really disappointed of the level of the competition because the last edition we had a lot of surprises and now even though at the end every course we cut and then the it was respected so the favorite came along with nigeria to to reach the final but if not the level of the competition is really top so thanks for watching and see you in the next video ciao